Hello, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Let us see what's on TV. Hunt versus the Trump ball in Bullet again. Okay, well, never mind. We're matched with London. I've played London a few times. I don't really remember their skill level, but I believe they're in the top, like, 100. Probably ranked higher than me, but I don't know by how much. Um, uh, so Vi is going to be insane if you get Chieftains. Um, but on the other hand, there's no Red Sing. So maybe you'd rather just get Shiver Yetis? Whew, a lot of Econ options here with like Doom, Trinity, Ebb. And like, there's no Absorber. But there's a lot of Soak. Right, Shredder and um, Chieftain. I guess that's not a lot. There's some Soak. Hmm. So I think you want to get blue, because there's several useful blue early things to get here, Ebb and Oxide. And I think you might as well get green. Oh, you can centrifuge into Vi. Okay, that's probably going to be pretty important. Uh, because it denies your opponent the option of getting chieftains relatively cheaply. And Tarsier is a pretty efficient attacker, so you're not super sad about having red, and likewise, Shiver Yetis are good. Or will be good if your opponent, like, threatens chieftains, so, okay. Um, so I think we want to keep it cool with just two engineers. Um, and I think a turn two centrifuge is maybe a little bit too early for Vi, but we could do one on turn three, then get a Blast Forge and then an Ebb Animus for the Vi? Something like that? I don't think you can go breach proof. There's trinities, but not enough attack. Okay, my opponent wants the earlier centrifuge. I'm definitely not good at centrifuge timings, so maybe they're right. Um, so this obviously like suggests a pretty early buy. Um, I'm a little bit worried that when I buy the Vi, I'll uh, be under too much pressure. So maybe... Well, so I want the centrifuge still, I think. Maybe instead of Ebb, I should get Shredder as, like, a defender on the Vi turn. But your opponent can just freeze it. It sucks. <laughs> uh... Oh, you don't need to buy a Blast Forge for the, the, the Vi either. Yikes. Um, I'm really bad at using Centrifuge. I don't have any idea, like, how much tech to have. I think this is still good. I just, like, don't like it. And the fact that my opponent has it sooner um, seems like sort of a problem. And now they're getting this Animus. So here come two Tarsiers and then a Vi. So I'm going to need a shitload of defense. This is awful. Do I really want this Blast Forge? What am I getting with it? Shredder sucks because they can just kill it. I guess a splitter, which they'll freeze. And an animus. And three doom drones. Two doom drones, I guess. Ah, oh, this is awful. And now my opponent has Vi Wall. Like, oh my god, that's that's so good. I have too much blue on the Vi turn, or on the centrifuge turn. I could do this. 
Um, if they freeze the splitter, which they should, they can kill a drone. It would be nice to hold back um, an NG, but I can't. And they don't have any more blue, so they can't build walls, which is kind of cool for me, I think. On the other hand, I don't have any attack. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, and this Doom Drone gets perfect value. This is disgusting. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to build another wall instead of this oxide, these two oxide mixers. I wanted to spend my blue and I wanted to get some attack, but... It is not feeling very good. What I need is a Shiver Yeti, like one Shiver Yeti, right? To take out these stupid Doom Drones that are holding themselves back. My opponent ought to get two next turn, I think. This defends. Right? Yeah, although then I lose the Yeti, which kind of stinks a lot. If they freeze wall, they can make me lose Yeti. Which they probably should do. Can do this. I still have to lose Yeti though. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. What damage am I even doing? I'm not really killing anything. So they can freeze like both walls and attack for five, which means I would need like another wall. Uh, this is a bit awkward, I guess, because if they want to lose both walls, they don't get Doom Drone values. This kills two NGs. That's something, I guess. I do this, and they still get actually a good value with their yetis. Ugh. Well, 
is the deal here? Freeze wall, freeze wall. Attack for five, I get breached. But this just gives them more freeze, right? Freeze, freeze, freeze. Attack for five, I guess I don't get breached this way. And this makes it hard for them to kill the Rhino because they have to spend their two freeze on this instead. Okay. Wait, why is it a Rhino, you idiot? There we go. Shiver Yeti alive, but also to lose it if they um, don't give me a promising freeze target, right? To keep the Shiver Yeti, I have to exploit myself, um, but I can lose it and avoid the exploit if the freeze isn't useful. And right now, I don't think it is useful. So they can freeze up to six and still attack for five. Or now they could freeze up to seven and attack for five. This defends okay. Shiver Yeti, I guess. Hmm. Let's make one of these a Rhino. <laughs> I don't know, then they get to pick which one I keep, right? Maybe that's not so great. Actually, I think a Rhino will probably be better than a Yeti this turn. They don't have any really promising freeze targets. Yeah, Shiver Yeti freezing NG, I think, is the best you can do right now. I guess you should freeze a rhino as well, right? Yeah. Ugh. And with these oxide mixers dying off, like, uh, what am I gonna do with myself? keeping these similar in attack numbers. this game and I'm clearly behind. I don't know how long it would take me to lose, but it would happen eventually. So I guess I always feel like you can delay centrifuge a little bit longer, but most things that you want to buy with centrifuge 
are things that you would be really happy to have the first of, right? And so you kind of want to get the centrifuge as early as you plausibly can. So let's look at, like, how different is uh, the game if I try picking up this earlier centrifuge. Right? It's pretty early, but let let's say my opponent continues the same. And we get an Animus. An Adrome. It's a little bit like inconvenient. But now... Getting this first Vi is pretty amazing. I can't get a wall. Um, I guess that's a problem. Reach for some drones. And I kind of just have to buy Yetis here, basically. But my opponent can breach when I do this, so I kind of need a bit more. I need like a force field. And if you want, you can freeze this. I don't know if you should. This way I lose force field NG. No, I lose force field double NG, or I lose force field Yeti. Uh, this way, I lose NG Yeti. I guess this forces me to lose a Yeti, but I don't know if I would say that that's such a great value for you. Um, I don't know. I'm, clearly, I'm like not playing this great for my opponent because I don't know how to play this, but... <sighs> it seems uncomfortable for both of us. Like this, I'm clearly threatening a serious breach here, right? I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. Let, let's say you just leave it alone and... Well, okay. Let's say you get a force field first. I couldn't figure out how to navigate the, the replay. So now I get in and kill the Tarsiers. So this is clearly not a fun approach. Maybe it's not losing, but it sure feels pretty bad to me. You're just attacking for three and you, you have a bunch of freeze, but... I can do this. I guess you get past me, right? Freeze, freeze. But then you only attack for two. Hmm. Maybe this is okay. Actually, probably these Shivergetis should not. They should be Rhinos, right? I already have enough-ish freeze. My opponent doesn't have that many real defenders. I'd rather just attack. So something like this, I don't know. And it's just like extremely difficult for my opponent, I feel like. Because you can't really get to the Tarsiers. I lose a Rhino. This is probably not the line my opponent would have taken, right? Um, because losing the Tarsiers is clearly catastrophic. But it does mean that, like, this earlier centrifuge at least forces my opponent into a different line than the one they took in the game, which was, like, devastating to me. So I guess I still need to, like... Stop being so optimistic with my centrifuges. Um, being the first one to get a good unit is good, right? Rar Tiger. Good name. 
Face plus eight. Player one. Looks... Wow. Very blue. Um, but red is probably good too because of like Bombarder, Ferret and Sack, Flame Animus. I think you're clearly going high econ. Gosh, there's even like pixies to, to soak all your spare, or sink all your spare blue. Um, do you just like rush for Odin? Like having triple blue is probably gonna be fine. And the alternative would be to like try to go a little bit slower and get a dead eye on the way, but. I think just having the first Odin is pretty impactful, and then maybe you can start building like Deadeye and Flame Animus or something while your splitters just bump into the energy matrix that your opponent builds, right? You sort of make them build an energy matrix. Uh, which means you won't be really attacking for much, but the, the threat of attacking is important. It, it changes what your opponent can do. You could also try something with a ferret and sack, maybe? But there's... I want three Blast Forges. It's not a problem. So I, I don't think that that's such a great idea. Now, okay, that is. You get what, like Dead Eye Blast Forge? And then you can still get an Odin. You spent 10, you have 8, 24, yeah. I'd like Dead Eyes, but I think it's important to get. Actually, if you get a Dead Eye first, then my Odin is pretty scary for you, isn't it? Like. Also, maybe a Pixie is better than a drone. Kills an Engineer, makes my opponent stop droning. And I'm going to go back to droning later. I think drone supply is going to become an issue, actually. And, you know, with, with the dead eyes that my opponent appears to be building. And this increases the Odin pressure against my opponent by one. Okay, so we get the Odin. Down comes the energy matrix, right? Well, if they're doing that... Why don't I just not get the Odin yet? That seems pretty cool. I feel bad about, like, not... I don't know. I guess actually I don't feel bad about anything. This opening seems fine. I don't like that these flame animuses are going to get to kill some engineers, but I guess that's life. It's going to be pretty tough to build an Odin next turn, isn't it? I figured you'd build an energy matrix next turn. Assuming you are building an energy matrix, I guess you have a bunch of red to spend as well, so... Mm, matrix, two Tarsiers, something, I don't know. Um, so this dead eye, I could hold it. He saves me an engineer and then gets to kill the drone later. It sort of gives my opponent $3 in a way. 
by letting one drone live for longer in exchange for giving me an engineer, that seems like a pretty bad deal. Yeah. So, Matrix, two Tarsiers, and I guess the wall is necessary to defend the Matrix? Okay. Odin, even though it's not doing any damage, it it was a big imposition for my opponent to build all this stuff instead of like what they actually wanted to build, right? Um, meanwhile, I have an Odin that I can just hold when when they build their big Odin. But I had to lose some engineers to do it, so... It's not like I'm in this amazing shape either. So we're clearly not attacking here. I just want to, like... Well, actually, here's the thing. I, uh... I don't want to use my Odin as a defender. Well, I do, though, because they're not going to actually attack with everything. Um, I'll build a Rhino to play around the, the threat and start attacking soon. I sort of expect them to attack for six, which is just two NGs onto wall. Matrix, I mean. But if they go crazy, I have a lot of stuff I can do. And I'd like to start the Bombarder train now, although my opponent has a head start on that. Maybe my Deadeye was too optimistic, but I don't know. I like killing drones. Three, four, five, six. If I attack for seven, that's wall NG, so maybe I just lose the Rhino actually, instead of the NGs, to keep myself a bit more granular. Um, no, it, it gives them granularity. Like, I don't know. The Rhino isn't doing anything very important right now. He just, like, makes them lose wall instead of two en engineers, which is not a great trade-off for me. Um, so say they attack for uh, six. This is fine. They have a small exploit available. Or if they swing with Odin, then they can make me lose Matrix, I guess. But I'm pretty happy to be starting the bomb Bombarder train. Although maybe this should be another Rhino, actually. Since we're starting trains, I think it probably should be Rhino instead of Tarsier. build Tarsiers anymore, can I? Um, I can't build Rhinos anymore. I, mean. I think Ferret and Sack NG is better. Like, it's going to be a really long time. This is basically going to just turn into a, a Pixie eventually. But, like, I have a blue sink, which I can turn into a red sink via a very long, complicated <laughs> process of Ferret and Sack and then wait. Um, but I think that that's still good, like, Engineers are pretty important and Tarsiers are pretty slow, is my thinking here.
Okay, a drone hold is cool. I feel like these trains are coming in just in time, which is nice. And my opponent wasn't able to continue the Bombarder train. They have two ferret and sacks lying around. Why not turn these into pixies, by the way? You have plenty of blue. It's not like you're saving these for extra walls. I don't think that's going to work out very well. So, okay, we're attacking for 13. This means they get to keep four health alive, which is sac which is exactly Odin. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't realize I was so far ahead, but okay, I'll take your word for it. I felt good. Which is a nice change from the recent games, where I have felt like I've been just getting absolutely murdered. Okay. Let's look at the game. High Econ, sure. Um, kind of a weird engineer, uh, pixie. I don't know. This is kind of weird too. Like, I, I think it's goodish. Um, a dead eye to keep him down is cool. Uh, I would have liked to like have a, a defender available for the flame animuses that are coming in. So I could have turned this into, say, a splitter. Um, but that's one more dollar, and I still have a blue left, so I guess I'm cutting a drone and building another pixie in that case. Um, which is a bit awkward. And the value of the splitter is very, very low. Right, I guess it would really just be a wall. But I liked being in the position of being able to get first to it. It was pretty important to make my opponent just, like, do nothing for a turn. Even though it costs me these two engineers. And then I had to do nothing for a turn, but at least in the meantime I've gotten to build a little bit of cool stuff. Um, I don't really agree with these ferret and sacks. How did this happen, actually? Wait, okay, maybe I do agree because... This first one you built, you kind of needed Matrix. You could consider getting a Rhino instead of this wall to play around the breach threat uh, without having to spend your blue on it, and then you could get uh, you'd have eight bucks left and a red and a blue. You could build like Tarsier Pixie or something. And then you're getting out an attacker. Um, basically, you get a pixie instead of a ferret and sack, and a rhino instead of a wall. Given that you don't expect the wall to do anything for a long time, that seems like an improvement to me. The rhino won't do anything right away, but pretty soon you can start attacking. It'll be threatening to attack, making my life a little awkward. I think just like maybe went a little too greedy with the Tarsiers when Bombarders and Rhinos would have been better. this episode. Finally got a win. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.